So this man decides that he wants some animals. And he goes into town and he, he's looking around and he sees a guy. And he approaches him and he says, Hey, I'd like to buy a chicken. And the guy said, Well, these are actually called pullets. But you can't put them down or else they'll run away. So he buys the chicken. A few minutes later, he decides he wants a duck. So he goes back to the same guy and he says, Hey, I'd like to buy a duck. And the guy said, Oh, this is actually called a Peter. And you can't put it down either or else it'll run away too. So he buys the duck. A few more minutes pass by and he decides that he wants to buy a donkey. He goes back to the guy and he says, Hey, I'd like to buy a donkey. The guy says, Well, I got an ass I'll sell you, but sometimes it stops walking. But all you got to do is just scratch it and it'll start walking again. So he buys the donkey. Now he's on his way back home and he's walking down the trail back to the farm and the donkey stops walking. But he can't scratch it because he's got a duck under one arm and a chicken under the other. But he sees a guy walking towards him, so he approaches him and he says, Hey, will you hold my Peter and pull it while I scratch my ass? <laughs> Linhart, Dunnigan, do you copy? Yeah, yeah, uh, sorry, must have accidentally switched the channel. Uh, need something? Yeah, we just got another call about the uproar gang causing trouble over at Old Zane's. Will you two handle it? All right, we're on our way. Good morning. Hello. Fred? Fred didn't show up today. <laughs> Detective Linhart. Look, I gave that guy a receipt. I don't give a crap oh, with... Easy now. I'm just looking for some loons in the area, causing chaos, breaking stuff. Maybe even getting violent with some of the locals. Spray painting gang signs at Old Man Zane's. Crazy Kook said they even set his cat on fire. You, uh, you ever see anything out of the ordinary? No, I, I haven't seen anything. Do you have any uh, pictures of the perps? You getting smart with me? No, of course not. Excuse me, are you a civil servant? A brave officer of the law by chance? Who's asking? They call me. Blasphemous Rex. Adorable. Now I only ask because I've noticed some shifty characters around town. The old duck, the queer flake, all up and about town lock, and I figured I'd let you know in case you wanted to put a, um, uh, what do you call them in? APB out for them. The shifty characters got names? Well, um, now that you mention it, I, I, I may be remembering this incorrectly, but I think their names were... I think their names were... Fuck. And you. <laughs> Fuck you. Not that, mate. I'm just making a joke. Place off the list. Loose tavern next, I'm thinking. 
What is it? That creep that came out before you. Some joker calls himself Blasphemous Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fucking loser. <sighs> Let's go. I can already hear Lou pouring those pints. What was that? Barry, what are you doing? I heard something. I don't hear anything. Listen. <laughs> You're imagining things. I'm telling you. I heard something. Then go see what it is. Would you rather I go see what it is? Helen? 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 See nothing. Helen? Helen? <laughs> Let's she negate everything we stand for, everything we are. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Then fly, little bird. You're still here?
Look what the cat dragged in. Evening, gents. The night's right cold with the smell of blood. What do you say? <laughs> Speak your mind, Rex. No, <laughs> oh, let me mind do the talking slowly, boy. See, the devil got his due tonight, he did, as he received two more innocent souls from the land of the living. And who played the part of the reaper? Yours truly, the king of misery, the agent of chaos, the bringer of violence, the life taker, the bone breaker, the blood maker. I am Blasphemous Rex. You think you're big and bad, huh, Rex? What level of violence did you achieve tonight? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Oh, well. Heard Johnny Law's looking for you, Rex. I'm the most violent man in town. The most ruthless killer these pigs have ever encountered. Of course they're looking for me. It's only a matter of time till they take you down and bring you in, I'd say. Sound pretty confident, Sly. Tell me. Are you a snitch? Sly ain't no snitch. Sides, ain't you the one snitched on Grip Grub? That's a lie. Grib Grub got pinched because he couldn't follow the rules, the guidelines. You start to show a pattern and the dogs will sniff you out. You must remain random. No motive, no methods, simply violence. After all, Slaw, you of all people should know. After what happened to poor old Washtub when they got on the top, eh? Washtub couldn't take the pressure. Couldn't handle the commitment it took to be a havoc wreaker, an admirer of Rampage, an acolyte of the uproar gang. In fact, let this be a reminder to you all. We are not ruffians in the night, committing petty vandalisms and tomfoolery, no. We are reapers, harvesters of souls. We cause no confusion. Our plot is clear. So if you're here to simply piss off mommy and daddy, I'll give you one final chance. One final chance here and now. Walk away. Walk away into the moonlight and resume the longevity of your daylight lives. Fall back into the fade. Fall back into mundane existence devoid of any meaning, passion or purpose. But if you stay, if you stay, you will own up to the dogma. You will serve as a sycophant to the mobocracy we have put into place. And you will be harbingers of violence. Violence! Remember your place, Sly. I'm the king and you. Dog shit that I barely give mine to scrape off me boot. Never just see slants like me! Rex. You know my name! I know your name. What's my name? Blasphemous Rex. That's right. That's fucking right. A toast. To milk and eggs and bread and cinnamon. To absent friends in the hell. May the stay there be as enjoyable as the waiter. Dickless twat. Right then, shall we?
So what'd you do this weekend? Oh, me and the family got out and played putt putt again. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, filled out that card finally. It only took about two years, but uh, we get we get a free game next time, so that's nice. Nice. Dad, let's get them back. Get the fuck back. What's going on? Oh my god. You guys are late. Flat tire. Call me a fucking river. The locals really cold out of the woodworks for this one, huh? Yeah, tell me about it. I'm gonna press down my thread before I can get the tags on them bodies. So what do we got? Joggers called it in. Mr. and Mrs. Yolander. Dead. No shit. Yeah, he's flayed like a fish. She's out back. Head smashed in like a fucking cantaloupe. Brutal. This guy means business, huh? Yeah, tell me about it. Cat couldn't have picked a better day. She's got two hobos beat to death out on 80. And uh, Baker just pulled out uh, Rick Dunley from uh, Joe's Paylick. Rick Dunley? Yeah, the putt-putt guy. Yeah, I know him. He drowned? No. no. Bled out. Stabbed to death. 14 times. Pulled him out of the bay, though. Yeah. Make any connections? No. Hobo's got beat to death. These two got robbed before that also killed him. And uh, Rick owed every crack core and scumbuster in town money. He had a short list. Who? The putt putt guy. Oh. Yeah. yeah. The Olanders got robbed too. Yeah. Knocked the furniture over, pulled the dressers out, took the food from the fridge. Yeah. Oh, God damn. How long have they been <coughs> out here? I don't know. Coroner ever drags his ass over here, we'll be able to find out. You round anyone up? I'm not doing your job. We can just get the usual list of suspects. It'll be a pretty long list. I just don't buy that these murders aren't connected, LT. It's too big of a coincidence. Especially when you tie in that string of murders over the last few months by that, um, what are they called? The Uproar. Uproar Gang? Yeah. I mean, it's almost like these thugs are intentionally random. Like the, um, the pattern lacks a pattern. I'll tell you a story, son. I used to be a prison guard down at Thomas Gage before I went to the academy. There's a sick fuck down there named Shelby. Star pitcher, best batter on the prison's baseball team. That year, they made it to the championship. Won every game, one by one. It's gonna be them, the bad boys of Thomas Gage, versus Milos Bandidos from Florida Blanca. That was a seven year rivalry, down to that day. Come to find out, Shelby's due to be released the day before. He didn't want that. He wanted that championship. He wanted that for his team. Let me tell you what he did. What's that? Stabbed a prison guard in the thigh. Got 10 months added to his sentence. Got to play the game, though. Did they win? Hell yeah, they won. Spent nine months in the hot box for it, but they won. What's your point? My point's this. Men and violence, it's like hogs and slop. You're not going to keep a hog from the slop.
Well, well, what are we a wee farmer out and about today? Not a time to be alive, eh, mister? <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. Before someone sees us. Sees us? It's a dead of night, me love. But... But nothing. You said you were ready. Said you were prepared to take the oath and transform yourself into a cutthroat chimera of nightmares. I am ready. Hey, Rex, he's getting up! Let's take him into the barn, pin him up on the wall like a Christmas ornament. Now that is an idea. <laughs> well, whatever it is you all want to do, make it fast. I've had this feeling all day long that somebody's following us around. Ain't nobody following us around, you witless Claude. Now you listen to me. This night belongs to us. No, this night belongs to me. I'm in total control, so clean the grime from your ears and heed me words with much caution and deliberation. Shut Hey boys, let's take this knife day dirt bag in the barn. Ah! My foot! My foot made me foot off! Ah! Ah! Ah!
Oh man, you're a psycho. You're a psycho, man. Come on, man. We're just, we're just playing a joke. Playing a joke. So just tell me where my friends are and we'll be out of your hair. Oh, no, 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 no. What's your name, buddy? They call me Blasphemous Rex. Blasphemous Rex, but it's just a nickname. Real name's Carl. Come on, man. I've got to get home because my stepdad will flip his lid when he finds out that I took his car. What is this place? You're sick for doing this. You can... They'll find me. Everyone knows who I am. You'll, you'll, get, it. you'll get it. I promise. Don't, don't find me. Oh God. Oh God. Get out of here. Rex. Hey man, I didn't. I hated that cunt. Anyway, I can help you hide his body. I can make sure no one ever finds him. I can make sure no one ever finds any of them. Just let me go. I can get you some crack. You want anything you want? Don't, don't kill me. Don't, don't you come close. No. Ah! Hey, hey, I won't tell anyone, not a soul, man. Oh, I won't tell them about how, how you killed Pin Pal or Dot. Fuck those guys, right? A couple of assholes anyway, but, but me? Just, just, just untie me. And Tommy, let me walk right out that door. I'll be gone. You, you, you'll never see me again. Out of your life forever. Promise, that is the last you'll see of old Blasphemous Rex. Please. Please. Please! Please! Oh, Tic Tac, why you gotta be 
so rude, huh? Fuck. Herbert Scatinelli, Grand Theft Auto, arson, possession of stolen goods, property damage. Oh, and I like this one here. What you got? Assaulting a police officer. I always like that one. It really gets my blood flowing. Me too. Man, that cop assaulted me first. I should be the one charging his ass with police brutality. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, click clack. People like you are the reason God quit talking to us. Well, looky here, looky here. Multiple gang related charges. Imagine that. Damn, son. That ain't icing on the cake. I don't know what is. Alleged, man. Nothing but fucking hearsay. Well, hear this, shithead. If you don't start talking, we're going to drive your ass right into the heart of gangland and politely remove you from our vehicle. Right where all your buddies can see you've been hanging out with your cop friends. God only knows what kind of stuff you've been whispering into the ear of the police. Yeah, but they wouldn't like that, huh? Oh, I bet they wouldn't like that at all. Or you could start flapping them gums like we know you like to do. Tell us something that'll make us smile. We drop you back off in BFE and your friends will be none the wiser. I don't know nothing, man. Start fucking talking or I'll put your picture on a billboard with the word snitch underneath it. Jesus Christ, man. All right. See, tit tat? We can be reasonable. Skit scat. Whatever. Start fucking talking because I'm running out of mocking names. What do you want to know? What we want to know is who's responsible for this string of murders plaguing our beautiful city. Beautiful? <laughs> this city's a fucking toilet bowl. Somebody needs to flush it. Well, true as that may be, we're getting pretty tired of cleaning up these messes caused by the uproar gang. The, the what? I think you yeah, struck a nerve with that one, Linhart. All right, Nip Tuck. Tell us what you know. That one don't even fucking rhyme. Stop fucking wasting our time! All right, all right. Listen, all I know is the uproar gang's just looking to cause trouble. And I got a master's in psychology. Think I wanted to be part of something this big? I joined as part of a social experiment. Just got caught up in the fucking mess. And who's the leader? Ain't really got a leader. Just an understanding. Just want to wreak havoc. Hurt people. No motive. No underlying intentions. Just a love for fucking violence. I made some friends too, you know. Me, Drive Time, and Sly. We were best buds. Were? Yeah. Drive Time hopped to Jamestown one too. Sly? Sly wasn't so fucking lucky. What do you mean? I mean, he's fucking dead, man. A prick slit his goddamn throat. Bled him out in the fucking dirt. I guess we could get a look at that body. You bury him? No, nah, man. Left him lying on 5th Street in the gutter. Yeah. Sounds like you guys were real close. <laughs> Let the city pay for the goddamn funeral. Hey, Sly. Sly was a fucking outlaw. Real punch him up kind of dude. Just rock hard, man. Rock fucking hard. Were you like, were you like sucking his dick or something? No! Just mean he's a tough motherfucker. Dude, you two wouldn't even fucking mess with. Sounds like one bad hombre. So who slit his throat? Worst one of the bunch, man. A real soulless piece of human excrement. Known as Blasphemous Rex.
would like to slap the shit out of Dot. You know, it's her fault I'm here. I know it is. She should be here instead of me. I don't disagree. Why are you defending her? I'm not. Son of a bitch put whipped cream in this again. 
Edgar told him not to. Shit, do you want it? No. So what do you got there? Took up the file on our old friend, Blasphemous Rex. Her Carl Pulaski, as is his given name. Scott Nelly wasn't kidding, Dunnigan. This guy's got a rap sheet a mile fucking long. I mean, crimes ranging from insensitive to goddamn disgusting. So give me one of them. Where do I even start? A series of kidnappings, home invasions, armed robberies? This guy's been linked to eight different murders the last six months alone, all of which he's had a convenient alibi for. And anybody we could use against this fucker either winds up dead or has a sudden change of heart. I mean, look. Arson. Connection to underground dog fighting, possession and selling narcotics. Fucking torture, Dunnigan. Endless counts of assault. This guy's been arrested more times than a Patriots fan at kickoff. Just none of them stick. Hey, why'd the, uh, why'd the belt get arrested? What? <laughs> it held up a pair of pants. <sighs> so, why didn't any of them stick? Well, mostly because the witnesses end up dead. From what I can gather, it looks like this uproar gang has the shakedown on the local PD. And they're all too afraid to touch any of them, otherwise they'll get home and find their house burned down or their wives and kids kidnapped. So why are you, why are you stressing so much over this asshole? Because he's fucking evil, Dunnigan. And the worst kind of evil? He's evil that knows it's evil. And I don't care what Anderson says. This diabolical sack of shit is in charge of the uproar gang. And whether they want to admit to having a conventional leader or not, this guy's top dog. And he's been leading this assemblage of dawdlers through this town like a fucking mob through Ingolstadt. I mean, leaving nothing but pain and and, and, and hurt in their wake. And, and when he says jump, they say how high. And when he says stab, they say how deep. And when he says kill, well, they say how many. It makes you wonder if a prison cell is the right place for a guy like that. As opposed to? You know. Maybe. No. I don't know. I guess I'm just getting desensitized to all of it. What do you mean? Well, when I used to work vice down in Springwell, me and my partner would always get these calls out to some backwoods gentleman's club. It's when they count this guy named Shoemaker. He was the owner's cousin, and he always liked to beat on those girls. He'd split open the noses, blacken their eyes. He'd have his way with each and every one, go right down the line. These were pretty girls, too. Not your typical daytime trash. We'd lock him up, and a day or two later, he'd be out on the street and at it again. Have you never charged him with anything? Oh, well, we tried. But his cousin would come down, slip the chief a few hundreds, and... Shrug his shoulders, giving all shucks, and be on his way with Shoemaker at his side. Then one night came, and we didn't get a call. And then another night, and about a week went by, and still no calls, and I started to get concerned. And my partner happened to be off that night, and I decided to go check the place out. So I drove up there real slow, killed the lights, snuck up to the window, and when I looked inside, I saw those girls. Those girls that got no justice for the, the beatings, the rape. They were all standing right above him. I'd got there just in time to, to see the end of what they started. He was dead? Dying's the, the proper term. I've always tried to be a good cop, do the right thing. So I had to step in. And I stopped him there right at the last second. Shoemaker spent a few weeks in the hospital. The girls walked away with nothing. Shoemaker never wanted to, to press any charges. That should have been the first red flag right there. But things started to look better. We stopped getting calls. Things seemed to be on the up and up. And then one day we got a report. And those girls were missing. A couple days later the bodies showed up. And I just knew it was Shoemaker. Couldn't find any evidence to pin it to him, but... I knew it was him. Something was telling me it was him. That was the biggest mistake of my of my career there. 
if I could go back to that day, I'd I'd just turned around, walked back to my car, and drove off like like nothing happened. There's a lot of evil in this world. Unfortunately, the, the evil typically outweighs the good. But the silver lining is, for as many evils as there are, they're almost always against one another. And when evil's paired against evil, the best thing for good to do is just sit back and watch. Get this fucking thing off me. You know, I think what the problem is, is he thinks he's better than me. Yeah, that guy thinks he's better than me. <laughs> I'll show him though. Show him. Hey, what are you looking at, Jagweed? I'll show him. Fat saw teeth. I could cut through the chain. No, you stay on your side, I'll stay on my side. I said, ow. You're right. <laughs> Stop it. I think we're gonna get out of here. No, 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 you're gonna die here. You're gonna die here. You're not gonna get out of here. You're, there's no escape. You're not gonna get out of here. You're, you're gonna die here. You're gonna die here. You're really fucked. You know that, right? You keep worrying like that, and you're gonna give yourself wrinkles. What's the plan, mate? Tuck your dick between your legs, pace back and forth, and wait for the dragon to come knock the goddamn door down like a bad You're man. not here. You're not here. Oh, I'm here, because you're here, twat. You know, you make me sick. You make me fucking sick. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, you miserable little turd. Look at me. No. Look at me. I was it going to cry. Yes. You're pathetic. What was your mother? Mother? Bet she's turning over in her fucking grave. What? No, she's not. I... You know what I think? I think you ought to be put out of your fucking misery. <laughs> Mommy? Greg? <laughs> Boo! Hello! <gasps> no. <gasps> Hello, sweetheart! Did you drop your purse? Where you go? Give us a kiss. 
Where's the fire? <gasps> oh, did it mess itself? You're fucking dead. You will rip your fucking throat out. Why are you doing this? I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna gut you like a bitch. You fucking cunt stain. I don't deserve this. Gotcha.
Hello, sir. I'm Detective Lenhart, Detective Dunnigan. Uh, we're just looking into some crimes in the area, real violent offenders. You, uh, you ever see anything suspicious? No, nothing I can think of. I'll give you a call, though, if I see anything. Look, care if we take a look at the property? Sometimes when these hoodlums get away from the police, they like to hide out in chicken coops, burn down houses, barns especially. Uh, hate for there to be any squatters on your property. That can be pretty dangerous. We'd hate for you to miss anything. Sure. Great. Care to show us the barn? Yeah. That's why you wouldn't believe me if I told you half the shit these guys have put us through. Yeah, a few violent encounters as well. Yeah. So, uh, see anything suspicious? Any rustling noises outside? How things aren't where they should be? Things like that? Really help us in the long run. Well, as you can see, there's nothing here. Uh-huh. I know everything that goes on on my farm. Nobody steps a foot on my property without me knowing about it. That's all good and well, sir, but uh, I'll be the judge of that. He'll be the judge of that. There's nobody in the barn. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step aside. Now, I've been nice enough to let you all look around. Sir, I will not tell you again to step aside. Listen. Step aside. Now again, you stay here. Keep your gun on him. I'm going to check inside the barn. Find something in there, boy. You better hope my partner don't find one loose nail in there. Your ass is fried. You hear me? You know withholding evidence is a crime, don't you? Oh, I hope he finds something so I can shoot you right now. Lenhart, what do you got in there? <laughs> Leonard, you see anything? <laughs> nope. Barn's clear. You're sorry about all the excitement, sir. Uh, just being cautious. 
Right, I understand. Yeah, so, uh, you have a good evening. And, uh, be careful. There's a lot of maniacs out there. Right. Lock your doors, too. Will do.